guys, it's Jen from Balancing Beauty in Bedlam, and I'm with a, without a camera today, and I'm in the middle of spray painting and doing a little bulk cooking, so I thought I would vlog a little bit about one of the favorite things I love to cook up on my bulk cooking days, and that is beans. I know some of you have weird feelings about beans, but the more you eat them, the better they are. Trust me. I cook up huge bags of huge pots of reef, not refried beans, pinto beans, and black beans, those are some of our favorites, and I baggy them all up in Ziploc bags and stick them in the freezer so that I can have them at tons of different times, whether I'm doing taco dip, or whether we need it for burritos, or whether I wanna do just a soup, or, or whatever. It's really affordable, really cost effective, and so easy. I have two crock pots, or else you can do it on the stove, and I just do a huge six quart thing of beans. I soak them overnight, and then I stick them in the crock pot, and they cook all day long. Now, one of the things that is the easiest to make with pinto beans is homemade refried beans. A lot of people think, oh my goodness, it would have to be so hard to make them. Trust me, it is the easiest thing in the world. And instead of spending a dollar at the store or even more if you want the kind that are more natural without the you know, hydrogenated fats, um, I'm going to show you how probably for five cents you can make the best homemade refried beans with just pinto beans. Cook them all day, then get your food processor out or your blender, whatever you have. If you don't have one of those kitchen tools, just hand mash them after they've cooked. It's really easy to mash. And I have cooked up huge pots in the past, so I am reenacting just a little bit of what I do. Come on over with my uh, mini food processor. If you don't have one of these, it is worth the investment. I use this all the time. My kids use it all the time for chopping up onions or the kids use it for making smoothies and shakes and whatever they want to do. And I actually got this at a yard sale years ago and still use it. So I put my pinto beans in here and I actually put onions right in there as well. As far as a recipe, I know you're saying, give me a recipe. You know what? Taste it as you go along and see what you like. You can put in onions, you can put in fresh garlic, just chop it all up in there. You can add garlic salt or garlic powder, powder, uh, taco seasoning. If you're a veggie lover, you can actually put in some fresh green peppers. It's almost garden time, and that is fabulous. A little salsa. Sometimes I put shredded cheese in my homemade refried beans. When the beans are still hot, the cheese melts in really easily. So do it to your taste and get it to where you seriously feel like you are at a Mexican restaurant. All you do, stick it in your mini food processor. I've got this big onion chunk. Okay, for time's sake, I'm not going to keep going, but you're going to see how easy it is. Now, this is not a fine consistency, but you're going to see homemade refried beans that literally costs pennies and tastes fabulous. So, that's my little tip for what to do with beans and how to make refried beans. So, thanks. Have a great day. i got to go finish my spray painting. See ya.